Video Game Hero Barbie gets new body makeovers with 2020 fashions. Coming up after this. On my own, without recording it, I did do these head swaps. I just was brushing my teeth or something and I was getting ready for bed and I thought about it and I went, that's such a great idea. And I ran to my toy room to get a WWE body and I thought that this head was going to be on the yellow body anyway. And I thought, I have so many WWE superstar yellow toned bodies that anytime I can think of a head to put on them, I'm willing to do it. I thought when I ordered this one that she was also going to be on a yellow skin tone, but she's not. She's actually on a Lana skin body. That's who we're going to be opening today. I should have her head on the heater. I guess I can do a review of her, then I can put her head on the radiator and let her head warm up. Also, we will look a little bit at the new 2020 two-packs of fashions that you get. There's six of them, and what I find with Barbie fashions a lot is that Barbie's a little sophisticated and mature for some of the fashions that they make, and I just don't think it's a good match because I think of Barbie as a classy girl. These, however, are more youthful and fun heads, and now that I have them, I think that the Hello Kitty fashion packs and the DC superhero packs and all of the little fun, cute little outfits, I think are great for them. Let's look at her. I'll put her head on the radiator. One of the great things about these, they come with really cute accessories. If you're unfamiliar with the video game Hero series, it was just this, I don't know, it wasn't too long ago. It wasn't too many years ago. Oh, 2017? A couple years ago. And it's, a, and it's a DVD and they had all these figures released. It was like, this is the weirdest Ken that I'd ever seen in his big anime eyes. And I just thought he looked so cool. And then they had the two little girls, which... Here are their bodies, so oh, I'll have to get into that after. We'll talk about this in a second. Let me just get this very unusual Barbie's head on the radiator. She doesn't look as anime as the other girls. I'm assuming that it's all the same head sculpt. See the back of the package is all digital and I think what happens, I haven't seen the movie, but I think Barbie crosses over into computer land. She gets sucked into her computer or some such nonsense. Look at these great accessories though. Oh wow, we got these roller skates and knee pads and they're smaller and thinner and molded on tops. That's not so exciting, but if we take these things off, helmet comes off. She's got really cute pigtails under there. The helmet is fastened on. Let me get the appropriate pair of pliers. I was all prepared, what happened to my glasses? Okay, glasses are needed. Now the necks are much thinner on these than on a regular Barbie doll, so you kind of have to be careful with that. Little skirt that you can pull off. Little removable knee pads. That is gonna be fun to see if they fit on. All of these girls came with pretty cool skirts, so that's pretty awesome. These feet seem to be a little bigger, which you know I love that. Oh, there's a place on the doll that the knee pads peg into, so they might not just work on a normal doll. The shape of her in general is really cute. I like how she's like a little curved and she's really cute. Uh, quickly, let me see if she's the same size body. No, she is more of a regular sized Barbie. And these ones are like little girls. They're kind of skippery, so they're a bit shorter. Okay, we're gonna cook off your head. We're gonna cook up your head now, Barbie. She's cute, way cuter than I anticipated. The doll itself is cute though. I kinda, hopefully I find another one of these. I just have hot air coming up through my radiators. So it's kind of a safe way. It warms them up, but it's not too hot. Like I've melted hair with hair dryers. And lots of you have given me great tips on how to heat up your dolls. Like always wrap it in a 
uh, like a towel before you use the hair dryer or you know the plastic bag in the warm water is a good technique too. It's just really easy just for me to stick it on the floor and the warm air will come up especially in the winter time when that is happening. Okay so these are the other two girls bodies. This girl I actually got her at a thrift store so I was lucky to find her but then I couldn't wait to find Barbie so I ordered her from amazon.com. Yeah so this is what the girls bodies look like super molded everywhere but they did come with pretty cool skirts and I think that you can fit them on a WWE body let me see if that is the case they will fit on they're just going to be <laughs> super duper inappropriate but cute nonetheless I guess they could wear them with laggings the plastic that they're made of is really really nice PVC kind of plasticky something or other and their feet are a little bit bigger so I like that because usually the Barbie feet are too small and let's just like look at these roller skates those are gonna be great you know who I think these are also gonna be good for the new BMR 1959 collection they'll look good on those dolls and I believe that they'll fit so one of the girls came with a pair of yellow sneakers and they're really cute. I love all these colors together too. And then got these, I don't know, foamy high tops. Those are cute too. And then one girl came with a pair of headphones with wings in purple cute. And then one girl came with cute little heart glasses. Aren't those adorable? And they look good on me too. And I think that was her. This girl had like Princess Leia buns on the sides of her head, but I decided that I wanted to take those out and I'm very happy that I did. She does look good. Her hair does get a little puffy because of it. Sometimes I put a helmet on her head to flatten it down. I probably should do it with some water and flatten it down, but she looks cute nonetheless. Yeah, she's got a big hair. She's really cute though. And she is wearing one of the new 2020 two packs. And it was just a cute little number. And then I never thought I'd get any use out of this little zebra short hoodie number, but it looks so good on this little digital girl. Funny that most of the costumes that are more juvenile also have the writing on them. And this is Girl Squad, cute. And then again, it's got that video game feel, so definitely works perfect for her. And then the last outfit from the collection I chose was this little sleepwear set. So this is what Barbie's going to end up wearing. It says weekend mode, and it comes with these little floral shorts. So her with her pigtails, she's going to look pretty cute in that outfit for sure. Here's the belt that video game hero Ken came with. His clothes aren't so great. Let's take a look at this skirt again. I can see this skirt coming in handy for one of these girls. It's really cute. Should I check on the heads? I don't think the heater was on. I don't think it had kicked in while I was going through these things. I can show you some of the other fashions from these packs. Definitely check out my review. I mixed and matched some of the outfits from the six packs. And I put together some other outfits. So, oh my goodness, that hair. There's some really good ones in there. This one, nice floral dress. I like this combo. She looks like a, a very present mother in some of the other fashions. But if you want to see that, check out my two videos on those. So many fashions that I had to make two videos to review them. All right, let me go grab those heads and we'll see if I can rip them off and they're gonna look great. Love the rubber that this helmet is made out of too. Here we go. Now I'm gonna take off the heads. We are using the Lana body to match the skin tone because Lana is the most pale WWE and this Barbie comes with really, really pale skin. Again, I am disappointed because I wanted it to be one of the yellower toned Barbies because I have so many of those bodies. But I did use one of them on this girl. I have had to get a lot of Lana bodies because the pale skin is very common for some of the more peculiar looking fashionistas. And I always like to collect the most unusual ones. And then I also have a lot of Naomi's, who is the darkest skin complexion. They have really tiny necks, but I'm just going to jam it in anyway. I'm going to cut off the prongs just in case I need to take the head off some other time. Makes it that much easier. Slip this in. That was really easy. And 
Here, Barbie is looking all cute and muscular. She already has this really cute athletic outfit on, but we're gonna swap that up and we're gonna put her to bed. Yeah, it's funny how the smaller head hole doesn't really affect it. It just squeezes in really nicely. Can still like alter it. Wow, that's a cutie. She's a cutie. I should also mention that video game Vero Ken was on the Superman body. The skin tone for the Superman body is used very often for black labels and pink labels. The more expensive dolls tend to use that skin tone. The movie dolls and whatnot. She is so cute. Oh man, she's cute. Let's put her in one of those costumes. If you've never seen a WWE body before, they are a little more athletic, a little more curvy, and that is why I like them. I think that they're really, really nice bodies. However, because their feet are so realistic and very nice proportionate to their bodies, the plastic on the shoes has to be really thick, and then for some of the footwear, it looks really way too big and chunky. I chose personal favorite shoes to put on the bottoms of these girls, so these are they're pretty good matches, I think. Oh, she got the purple shoes. So I'm gonna pull on these little floral shorts. This is the most ill-fitting outfit from the fashion packs. I was very surprised that they would do that. I don't know why. It is so loose. It's a little too sexy. And the WWE bodies are bigger bodies than a standard Barbie. So it's gonna fit really loose on everybody. See, you can see it's pretty low cut but super duper cute. What a cute little outfit that is. This is the collection of shoes that I have available. I have more, but they are currently on other dolls. So let me find something. Let me bring her outfit over. I don't wanna put gold, I think would be too flashy. Let me show you a red pump though. I mean, that could be cute. And I can also show you what the boots look like. They're just really chunky, even though that kind of looks cute too. I guess it's the white. It would be nice for her to have different shoes from the other girls, but I'm really having a hard time deciding when there's just blue ones that are the same color as in her shorts. I'm gonna go with the just blue ones so that she'll have a completely different pair of shoes on from the other girls. So that is the footwear she's getting, and then that means she's gonna be able to stand. I've got the full collection now, and I feel really proud of these because they're like my own little custom creations. They were so easy to make too, and it's like a whole other world, and I cannot wait to do more of those cute little fashion reviews. Care Bears, all kinds of cute little outfits and stuff I can put on these. So cute. Oh wow, these are a lot of fun. And she has this helmet. I'm gonna put that helmet on. Actually, maybe I'll put this helmet on her because she needs some hair help. That'll keep her hair down. Oh, that makes her look super special. Cute. <laughs> super, super cute. Let me know what you think of these. If I saw somebody do this review and make these, I'd be super jealous of them. These aren't gonna be that easy to find. They might be easy to find at thrift stores though. Well, and also finding the WWE bodies might not be so easy either. But you can just be jealous of me because I'm so proud of these. I'm going to play with these all the time. Despite your jealousy, I hope you'll give the video a like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And um, I love you guys so much. I'll see you real soon. You know, anytime you guys can leave a message below letting me know the toys that you want me to open. I do like when I get your suggestions. Not that I always can get to all of the toys that I have because I have so many, but it will be taken into account. These are really, really fun. She's kind of got this, like this... Oh. It... <laughs> We're at a funny time right now in YouTube land and reviewing toys. I don't know if I should like say how I really feel about if the, <laughs> this isn't really a kid's channel, but I try to be inclusive just in case kids watch. But this outfit, it's, let's just say it's a bit inappropriate, but still cute at the same, Probably, probably should keep my mouth closed.
I hope I don't like these WWE bodies for the wrong reasons. Those shoes look so good with those shorts. It's the same color blue. That was the right choice. Oh, and I forgot there's even this purse that came with the set. I'm not a big supporter of matching your purse to your shoes, but in this case, I mean in doll land it works really well. So this is the purse that came with the set. So yeah, this is too good to be true. I can't let you go out like that though.